So let's take a look at the ribeye. Some customers may say, why would I pay Restaurant Depot $9.49 a pound for a steak when I can actually buy this ribeye for maybe $7.49 or $7.59 a pound? All right, let's see what we get out of this ribeye. We're going to take it, we're going to put it on the scale, and we're starting off with a 14-pound ribeye. And at $7.59 a pound, we are spending $106.26. Let's see what we get out of it in steaks. So the first thing we want to do is obviously we're going to take off the packaging. And we lose a little bit of purge and blood. Probably lose about a percent of the weight right off the bat when this comes off. The first thing you do when you cut a ribeye that you should be doing if you're cutting your own is you put your hand and you rub it along the back. This is where the backbone and the feather bones go. And packers tend to leave bones on here every now and then. There's also a very shiny membrane that has to come off. That's where the bone was attached. So that, for starters, has to all be shaved off the back. You don't want to have a ribeye steak with that little membrane back there, and it's something you just can't chew. And you can see that this is all very fat meat, but we're going to put this in with the trimmings. The other thing is there's this back strap. Now, they have taken most of this off, the packer, but there's still a piece of back strap. That has to come off. This is that yellow, very stringy thing that you can't chew it, can't eat it. So that's going in with the fat. These ribeyes are what's called two by two. Over the whole muscle, we have two inches of a lip on one side. And over the whole muscle, we have two inches of a lip on another side. When we cut our ribeyes, we have a speck of a half an inch. So we have to trim this down to half an inch. So we're going to take most of that lip off. And that's going to wind up going most of it into fat. We'll take this little bit of trimming off and put it on the side. And then we're going to put the balance of it in with fat. So we've got trimmings and then we've got a lot of fat. So we're pretty much almost ready to slice this. But we have to look at the bottom. There's big pieces of meat that are lined up like fingers on the bottom of the ribeye. That's called finger meat. The beef back rib sits along here, and what the packers do is they notch in and out when they take the back rib off. They make more money by leaving that back rib meat or finger meat on this ribeye right here than they do leaving it on the back rib. We don't want too much of this on our rib steak because it's really not part of the rib steak. So we're going to have to take some of that finger meat off as well. We're going to shave it down. It's actually a different muscle, different piece of meat, and the customer will definitely notice something different when you cook them a ribeye steak if you leave that on. So that goes into the trimmings. All right, so we're ready to go. We're going to start cutting portions. And let's assume you are after 16 ounce portions. All right, I'm not measuring these off myself, but if you're in the back of the house and you're cutting ribeyes, if you're cutting steaks, You've got to make sure every single one is a 16 ounce portion. What happens if you're assuming your food cost is $10 a pound for that steak? 16 ounce portion, it's $10 for the steak. You accidentally cut an 11 ounce portion and guess what? Your food cost just went up. You cut a 12 ounce portion, your food cost just went up. The people that are cutting our Restaurant Depot steaks are doing this eight hours a day, five days a week, and everyone is spot on. We guarantee our portion sizes. We guarantee our costs on all the steaks. So we're almost done, we're almost to the end. All right, so we're down to the end. Now what happens if you're cutting 16 ounce? And I take this piece and I put it on the scale, and if it weighs 20, 20 ounces, now what am I supposed to do? Well, we're gonna cut a 16 ounce steak out of it. and we have this very skinny piece here. We don't know what to do with it. We're gonna leave it in for the steaks right now, but you on your side, the restaurant's probably gonna put it into trimmings or dice it up for stew or something. And we're not done yet. We've gotta look at every single steak now, one steak at a time. We have to make sure we have no more than a half inch lip on it. All right, so for every ribeye, we're gonna take a quick look at the lip and we're gonna trim it down. And usually the lip is fat. So we're going to actually, this is what I'm trimming off right here. This has to come off to get it down to a half an inch. And this comes off of every steak. We don't leave it on. 
So we're just going to do that pretty quickly here. Just go through these. And then sometimes there's a lot of fat on the top. That has to come off as well. And we'll take the fat off the top. And we're almost halfway done here. So again, let me show you. This piece of fat comes off here, and this fat comes off of the lip. It's not something you want to be serving the customer. They're going to look at that. And even though the quality of the beef is fantastic, they don't want to see all that fat on their plate. And actually, it's very dramatic. As I get down to certain parts, you can see all that fat left on there? This is a typical ribeye. We're going to take all that off. Now, if you're in a restaurant and you're buying a whole ribeye, you're taking this off too. I hope you're taking it off. And we have three more pieces left. Trim that down, trim that down, and trim that last piece down. Okay. So now, let's see what we got for our money. The ribeye weighed 14 pounds with a cost per pound of $7.59 a pound with an extended value of $106.26. The trimmings made up 8% of the weight with 1.12 pounds at a cost per pound of $1 or an extended value of $1.12. The fat, the silver skin, the shrink made up 13% of the weight at 1.82 pounds and had no value. The center cut steaks made up 79% of the weight at 11.06 pounds with a cost per pound of $9.51 a pound, with an extended value of $105.14. Based off of this cost structure at Restaurant Depot, our fresh portion steaks would have cost you $9.49 a pound. Keep in mind, when cutting your own steaks, you still have to add the cost of labor, packaging, and it does not guarantee exact portion size, which all adds to your final cost per pound. The features and benefits of Restaurant Depot's fresh portion steaks include 100% yield. There is no additional trimming of worthless fat. You incur no additional labor cost. Each steak has precise sizing for exact portion cost, something that you cannot guarantee if you're cutting your own steaks. Each steak is individually vacuum packaged for extended shelf life, so you can use only what you need when you want to and save the rest for another day. Our steaks are available in both USDA choice grated beef and USDA select grated beef. Our fresh portion steaks all come from the finest Midwest corn fed beef and they're all hand cut for perfect sizing and trim specifications. Restaurant Depot strongly discourages the use of your own table trimmings. The main reason is the E. coli issue that I am sure you are aware of. The USDA mandates that all meat packers do a test and hold sampling process on all ground beef. Millions of pounds are held daily for 24 hours prior to selling. Millions of dollars are spent testing for E. coli annually. There is no test and hold on the subprimals that you're cutting your steaks out of. Restaurants grinding their own table trimmings will be at risk for serving E. coli contaminated ground beef unless you cook your ground beef to 165 degree internal which will kill the E. coli bacteria. So the choice is yours. You can either buy a whole ribeye and cut it yourself and get ribeye steaks that may or may not be exact portions, trimmings that you just cannot use, a lot of fat that you cannot use, or you can buy Restaurant Depot's fresh portion controlled steaks.